Hello and welcome to Back of the Net. And today we've got another funnel forecast. And the cross by Heffernan. And was that a foul? It's a goal anyway from funnel. From funnel. From funnel. Yep, today it is time for the funnel forecast. We're going to see how Tony got on. But before we do that, I need a little bit of help. So here's my mate, Sam. Hello, buddy. How are you? I'm good. How are you, buddy? You all right? Yeah, not too bad. I wonder how Tony feels this week, because I think by the looks of it, he had an okay week, but did that make us money or did it lose us money? Shall we have a look at what happened? Yes, please. So here we go. Um, Just to confirm, Tony's prediction is on the right in bold. So he said, i.e. Leicester would win, Spurs would win, Man United. But the tick and the cross on the left is whether he got it right or wrong. And t- to be honest, th- th- there were a few surprises there because, I mean, you and I both thought that Leicester would have beaten Brighton at home. Yeah, definitely, for sure. And then, you know, Aston Villa getting their last minute goal, obviously a bit of a choker for us, but um, also for our Sky Bet account as well. So that wasn't too good. And he went optimistic with the draw as well for AFC Bournemouth. And um, also... The title has been decided, Tony, hasn't it? Yeah, it has, um, which I'm not sure if that's good news, really, for us. I think that might be bad news because um, Liverpool are yet to play Villa. And we know Klopp likes his young lads. I just I just hope that that came out wrong, by the way. I meant he likes to play <laughs> yeah. the young players. We'll take it out in the edit. No, yeah, it's good. all good. But, yeah, I mean, he does... Um, You know, Arsenal played a young side against uh, Southampton and, you know, they did well out of it. But of course, you know, Liverpool, (laughs) Southampton are relatively safe. Um, So they haven't got total pressure. But Mm. when they play Villa, Villa are still going to be in the mix. And you just worry that they're going to almost play that sort of team that went out to Aston Villa in the, what was it, the, what's it called now? The Carabao Cup, whilst they were on World Club Cup duties. Um, It's quite scary, isn't it? It is a little bit scary. It is a little bit scary. Um, I'd hope that they want to go for all the records because I think they can. I think they can still get best points tally. Uh, so yeah, I think they might. Oh, let's hope. He's, he's got good integrity, isn't he, Klopp? Yeah, he has. Uh, I'm, I'm really hoping so. Before we move on to the predictions, then you can of course bring them in. Uh, but I think we should just sum up whether we've calmed down or not after that match against. Wolves, everyone was well impressed with the first half, weren't they? But it was in the second half where we sort of um, didn't play as well. But there was, there was just no attacking intensity whatsoever. No, I think the thing that worries me the most, I suppose, about it, and the thing that I got I got a bit upset about, I'm over it now, but I got a bit upset. And I was thinking, we went out, we played for a draw, didn't we? Mm. And um, that's not really us. That's not really Eddie. And, and I'm, I'm, worried, I'm worried that the pressure is, is getting to us that we feel that we have to go out and play for a draw to get a point rather than the way we've always played is, you know, we want to win. Um, so I don't know. Confidence is an issue if we're not scoring goals and we've now got no strikers left. So, <laughs> no, you know, I suppose you know, the only solace that we could have from this match week is maybe Tony will have made us a little bit of money. Do you think, do you think that will have happened? I hope so. I mean, I looked at the graphic there. I mean, that's half, half and half, surely. I mean, we should get at least half the profit we thought we'd make. Um, well, last week we were on £17.16, I think. Uh, you can see it there in the graphic. That's where we were. So obviously we split that 10 ways and we bet as 10 single bets. Now, exclusive for you, Tony, because you don't know at this point um, where we're at. This is my Sky Bet account right here. And can you see in the top right hand corner there? Yeah, we are down to oh. fifteen pounds sixty four, and that's despite uh, you know Tony getting fifty percent of the results right. But obviously, you know the way it works is that when you go for bankers like Liverpool, you don't make as much money with the ones that you maybe you know have a have a punt at. But uh, yeah. fifteen pounds sixty four, Tony, um, we're losing money week on week. The pressure is on, Mister Funny. This week, isn't it? <laughs> I expect him and Eddie Howe are on the phone all the time. You know sharing experiences trying to help each other out with it with the pressure of this um so so let's see so was it 18 pounds something before uh 17 pounds 17 pounds yeah oh so, so we've lost two pound about, about yeah less than so it's, it's not bad 
That's not. That's probably a bet, isn't it? How much? Yeah. Will, how much have we got on each each bet? One pound seventy one. So it's fine. I think. I think we've, we've you know we've yet to hit our stride. I'm talking about Bournemouth and, and Tony Funnel. <laughs> yet to hit our stride. <laughs> it will build. It will build. I'm feeling confident. So should we see what he's gone for this week? Yes, please. Let's do it. Okay, here we are again for another week, guys. And uh, my selections after five out of five last week, not bad. Um, could have been six. The boys in the studio said I should have picked Chelsea to beat uh, Manchester City, but I couldn't see that happening. And uh, if Sterling had scored instead of hitting the post, I think City would have carried on to win their game then. And also would have been talking about goal of the season because that would have been an amazing goal. Anyway, hey ho, that's how it goes. Let's go straight into the uh, first picture. The Saturday game, Aston Villa versus Wolves and a way win for Wolves. On to Sunday, Watford and Southampton. I'm going for a draw. Followed by another draw for Monday night's game, Crystal Palace versus Burnley. And then on the Tuesday fixture, Manchester United away win against Brighton. And then we've got our Wednesday fixtures starting off with Bournemouth versus Newcastle. I'm going to go for a draw. Bournemouth and Newcastle to draw, followed by another draw, Everton versus Leicester. Then I'm going for an Arsenal home win against Norwich, followed by Chelsea to win away against West Ham United. And then I think we've got the two final games, Sheffield United versus Spurs. I'm going for a Spurs away win. And Manchester City against Liverpool, a Liverpool away win. So that's hopefully better things to come this week. See you all later. All the best. There we go. By the way, three things there. He said five out of five, uh, which I think he meant five out of ten, because if it was five out of five, <laughs> we'd be doing right. I loved the cheeky product placement on his T-shirt. That was a bit cheeky, wasn't it? Um, I don't know who on earth would do that, Tony. <laughs> And also, I love the fact that he says, we have a studio. Like, does he, my laptop is balancing on an Amazon parcel that I haven't opened yet. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Um, but yeah well, can, I, can I also point out, by the way, even though our decor does look quite similar, we're not in the same room. <laughs> <laughs> it does look like, if I just angle this slightly, it, it does look as though, can we, you know, can we touch each other or go in for a smooch? No, let's not. Oh, uh, yeah. um, so let's have a look at uh, what he said there then. So yeah, um, Wolves win. I mean, obviously they're in a they're in a very rich vein of form. Um, you know, the only you know, obviously as a Bournemouth fan, I'm looking at that thinking mm. he's going for a draw. It's almost like his heart is not ruling um, anymore, and his head is speaking. He's obviously seen the performances. We struggled against Newcastle last season when Matt Ritchie scored that last minute equaliser, didn't we? Um, mm. Difficult team to break down. Any other surprises there? No, I think you're spot on. He has he's going more with his head, isn't he? Mm. Um, you know, the, he's gone for a Watford Southampton draw. Mm. Uh, I would like Southampton to win that. I don't have to say that very often. Um, mm. And what's he gone for there? He's gone for a Liverpool win against Man City. So that's yeah. interesting. So he thinks he's, they're going to play a, a stronger squad there. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, should we have a look? What this means in the because I haven't put on the bet yet and I'm going to do it right away just so people know that this actually happens by the way just wanted to put in a caveat that you know betting is not a quick fire way of making money whatsoever we're doing it with a finite a finite amount of money we're not spending any more than 20 quid um and it will be going to charity uh 20 quid minimum if we make more well uh of course we'll donate whatever we end up with so yeah don't think it's a fast way of making money because we're the proof that you can yeah. lose one pound fifty every week uh, <laughs> it's not particularly great is it tony so yeah um what i might need tony is yeah. um i'm just going to pop those up on screen and in oh, the back yeah yeah if you can take a screenshot of that or something because what i'm going to do is ask you to um just make a note of them if possible 15 pound 64 divided by 10 that means each bet that we have got this week is a massive one pound 56 
um, okay. 156 there. So that is where we're at. Right. So here we go then. Let's see. £1.56 all the way. This we're gonna, is what's going down. So we're going to so, go Wolves win on the first game. Okay. Wolves win. Nice one. Next. And then we're going for a draw on what draw. from Southampton? Yeah. Draw Crystal Palace Burnley. Brighton Manchester United is going to be a Man United win. Yeah. Tony's going to go for a draw for Bournemouth. Draw. A draw for Everton Leicester. Yeah. An Arsenal win against Norwich. Okay. Chelsea are going to beat West Ham. Yeah. Spurs against uh, Sheffield United is going to be a Spurs win. Yeah. And Liverpool are going to beat Man City. Right. Okay. So one pound fifty six. Obviously, we can't do it exactly because there's a little bit. There'll be four p left over. So what I'm going to do is just do this whilst I speak. So one fifty six, one fifty six, one fifty six, one fifty six. And while Sam's doing that, I must say, if uh, if any of you out there have any other thoughts on on the fixtures and what you think might happen, please do write something in the comments below and make sure you subscribe. Yeah. And give it a thumbs up as well. We, you know, we're, we don't want to be one of those channels that says we want 500 likes. Well, we won't get 500 views on this video, but <laughs> uh, let's see then. So, what is this going to uh, potentially provide us with? So, this £15.60 bet could return £38.76, Tony. That's not bad at all. And there we go. It has been placed. That is what we're dealing with. Tony Funnel, I hope for your sake, and your future on the podcast <laughs> um, that that comes in, but um, yeah, I, you know, I'm I'm pretty good with all of those, apart from obviously on form, Bournemouth v Newcastle. Yeah, he's, he's probably right to say that, but I just think that we'll have that um, you know added incentive and hopefully motivation to get a win there. So I'm hoping he gets that one wrong, but we'll see. Eh? Yeah, we'll see. I, I feel exactly the same as you. I mean, yeah. Come on, Bournemouth. Okay, well, that was the funnel forecast. Thank you, Sam, for all your help there. Hopefully, we're going to be quids in next week. Up the cherries. Oscar, back in the day. Oscar, back in the day.